A reading from the Word, Isaiah 51, verses 1 through 12. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Look to Abraham your father, and to Sarah who bore you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord will comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Listen to me, my people, and give ear to me, O my nation, for law will proceed from me, and I will make my justice rest as a light of the peoples. My righteousness is near, my salvation has gone forth, and my arms will judge the people. The coastlands will, wa will wait upon me, and on my arm they will trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens. And look on the earth beneath, for the heavens will vanish away like smoke. The earth will grow old like a garment, and those who dwell in it will die in like manner. But my salvation will be forever, and my righteousness will not be abolished. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be afraid of their insults. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like wool. But my righteousness will be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Are you not the arm that cut Rahab apart and wounded the serpent? Are you not the one who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, that made the depths of the sea a road for the redeemed to cross over? So the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to, come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man who will die and of the son of a man who will be made like grass? Thank you, Lord, for you have stretched out the heavens. You are the maker of heaven and earth. We exalt your holy name. Glory, glory to the Lord Most High. A word from the Lord. Thanks be to God. All of his promises are yes and amen. And I just really want to emphasize, emphasize that the Lord he will comfort Zion. He will comfort all your waste places, all the pain. All the pain will surely cease. And joy and gladness shall be your reward. The Lord is crowning us with joy, everlasting joy. We shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Praise the Lord. Awake, awake. Put on your strength, O Zion. Put on your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city.